welcome to News Now on TV360. I'm Tinoade Salami. Suspected members of the dreaded Islamic sect Boko Haram have reportedly killed at least five people and injured many others in an attack carried out beside the Bene Sheikh Market, Brono State, northeast Nigeria. Authorities say the casualty figure from the attack, which occurred at the early hours on Sunday, could have been relatively higher if the bomb was planted within the market. Witnesses say traders and buyers in the market took to their heels for safety after the explosion occurred. Brunner State Commissioner of Police Clement Adoda has confirmed the attack. A source in the hospital said the death toll from the multiple bomb attacks in Medjugorje, Brunner State has risen from 58 to 62. The All Progressives Congress APC has condemned the multiple bombings carried out by suspected members of the Boko Haram Islamist sect in Brno State, northeast Nigeria, over the, over the weekend. The attacks which occurred in Medjugorje, the state's capital, left dozens dead and many more injured. In a statement issued in Lagos on Monday by APC spokesperson Lai Mohammed, the party condoled with the families of those killed as well as the government and people of Brno State. The party warned that those behind the continued killing and maiming of innocent people will not go unpunished. The party called for vigilance among the people of the state and indeed the entire northeast against the background of the step up fight against the terrorists. Forces from Chad and Ninjay opened a new front in the regional military fight against the Islamic extremist group Boko Haram as army vehicles full of soldiers crossed the border into northeast Nigeria. Officials and witnesses said Monday the escalation in a joint military campaign against the Nigeria based Boko Haram comes just weeks before Nigerians head to the polls for an election which, may, which many fear will turn violent. And after scores of attacks by the militants and neighboring countries who have pledged to help Nigeria defeat the extremists. Chadian Brigadier General Zakaria Ngo, Ngo Bongwe said that the soldiers alongside troops from Ninjai had entered Nigeria. He declined to give details about the ongoing operation. Already Chadian forces had crossed into northeastern Nigeria from Cameroon to fight the jihadists. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has extended the deadline of the prominent voter card PVC distribution by two weeks. The collection for the PVCs was meant to end Sunday, March 8, but INEC extended the exercise across the country to March 20, 2015. The Commission had on Friday 9, February 9, extended the PVC collection date to March 8. Ekiti State Governor Ayodele Fayashi has called on the Independent National Electric Commission INEC to suspend the use of smart card readers for the conduct of this year's general elections. Fayashi who called the attention of the electoral body to the numerous flaws detected last Saturday during INEC's test run exercise in 12 selected states in the country, noting that it will be a great disservice to the nation on the part of the Commission to start experiencing with issues like presidential election due to alleged overzealous attitude of the chairman of INEC, Professor Atairu Jega. In a statement issued in Adrekiti Sunday, by his special assistant on public communications and a new media, Larry Olayinka. Fayashi said he was not against the use of any technological device to ensure credible elections, but the flaws recorded during the test run exercise were too fundamental to be ignored. The Democratic Party and the All Progressives Congress have disagreed on the outcome of the mock testing of the card readers conducted Saturday by the Independent National Electoral Commission. In a statement, PDP National Publicity Secretary Olisa Metu said Sunday that the party had noted a series of complaints by Nigerians regarding lapses experienced during the exercise and therefore challenged on the commission to tell the public the outcome of the testing. However, APC on the other hand said it was satisfied 
with the outcome of the test and therefore was still in support of the use of the of the card readers for the general elections. APC National Women Leader Ramatu Aliu said the party would stand for the March 20th date for the general elections and the use of card readers because they will guarantee one man, one vote. And Lagos State Governor Babatunde Fashala says the solution to the problem of power sector could be achieved in six months if the distribution companies disclose we are ready to yield some percentage of the concessions to the state government. Fashola made the statement Sunday at the commissioning of the 1.2 km Clover Road and 8.5 MW Peninsula Integrated Power Project PIPP Lekki Etiosa local government area while commissioning the 5th IPP. The governor said, I quote, let the ECO discourse sign a contract with me giving part of their concessioning to the state government. In about six to eight months, there will be power in our homes in Lagos State. End of quote. And now we we'll take a short break. When we come back, continues. Honorable Victor Oshie is a great man. Before you can find somebody, a politician, who bring out of his money to the sponsoring people with disability. And let me tell you, it's going to be hard because we know what our politicians use their money for. Victor O'Shea is like uh, a Madiba to wheelchair basketball Nigeria. So he has really done a lot of things and development and it makes us have a lot of uh, international players. He has sponsored us to some international tournaments and he has used his life to contribute immensely for the disability persons and uh, we are seeing the outputs because a lot of people from the lead to the end from his tournament is changing their lifestyles. Since Victor Che came in, it's been, it's been one success story and the other. I couldn't imagine that somebody of that caliber could have a soft spot. Oh, he, he, I, I don't know, he has a large heart. Welcome back, Brent Oi. Brent crude oil fell to $59 per barrel Monday as the dollar strengthened and the supply got bushed global oil inventories to record highs. The dollar hit a more than 11 year high against the basket of currencies after data showed the US unemployment rate in February fell to its lowest level since May 2008 making commodities priced in the greenback more expensive for holders of other currencies. Oil inventories are rising across the world as production outrips demand offsetting geopolitical tensions in the Middle East and the risk of output cuts in Libya and Iraq. And now in foreign oil workers have gone missing after an attack on a Libyan oil field the Australian Foreign Minister says the oil workers were from Austria, the Czech Republic and seven non-EU countries, the spokesman said. The attack on the Algani field about 700 kilometers southeast of Tripoli happened on Friday, a Libyan army spokesman said. They said eight guards had been beheaded in the attack. The army spokesman for the Australian Austrian Foreign Ministry was not in a position to confirm the kidnapping but said one oil worker had died on a heart attack after witnessing the behe beheadings. The foreign oil workers who were seized are from Austria, the Czech Republic, Bangladesh, the Philippines and at least one African country, a spokesman for the Australian Foreign Minister said. A policewoman and three other people have been arrested in connection with the deadly attack that occurred at a kosher supermarket in Paris over two months ago. French authorities say all four had over links to Amadi Colibel, the gunman and outstage taker at the Parisian culture supermarket. A Paris prosecutor's spokesman said the policewoman worked at a four-day Rusty Street bus northeast of Paris. The recent, the recent arrest comes after four other suspects were arrested in connection with the attack, which has been termed one of the deadliest terror attacks in France. 
And on the world of sports, the Dream Team 5, the Dream Team 6 trainer has lamented this team sport display in all African Games qualifier victory against Gabon last Saturday in Abuja. They had coach of Nigerians under-23 male national team, Samson Siasia, has expressed his pleasure over his side post-show in their 2-0 win against Gabon. The Dream Team 6 defeated their Gabonese counterpart 6-1 in aggregate and the second leg tie played at the National Stadium on Saturday in Abuja to set up a final round clash with Zambia in the 2015 All-African Games qualifier bid for September in Congo. The former Super Eagles tactician assured that his technical crew would do everything needed to amend the mistakes of the Olympic team ahead of their clash with their Zambia counterpart. Lance Armstrong says his hope for a dope-free future for cycling as a report revealed the sport continues to struggle with the problem. Armstrong, who was stripped off a seven Tour de France titles for duping, was spoken to twice by the body, which compiled the document. The 43-year-old is Tour de France titles taken off him and was banned from sport for life by the United States Anti-Doping Agency in August 2012. And that ends the news on News Now on TV 360. I'm Tino Salami. Thanks for watching.